Joining me in the studio is Professor Volker Quaschning from the University of Applied Sciences here in Berlin and he's an expert on renewable energies. Now we've seen the organic, the plastic solar cells. Will they really be a major breakthrough for solar energy? They could be a breakthrough in the future, but today uh, the crystal and silicon solar cells, they are the major technology, they cover more than 90% of the market. And 10 years ago we said other technologies such as thin film uh, silicon solar cells or other thin film technologies or even the organic PV will do the race. But mm -hmm. uh, today the race is still open and we have a large cost reduction in, in, in the past. So the crystal and silicon solar cells, they came down from $60 per watt in the 1970s to less than one dollar today and so the race is still open I would say. Wow and can that uh, drop of prices really be kept up? Yeah we have to because we uh, would do the energy revolution so we would, would like to come to 30 percent of solar technology in, within the next 20 or 30 years mm -hmm. and this is only possible if the costs go, go down by the factor of two or three then it would be possible so in which technology this will can do this it's open. Mm -hmm. Right now we have about three uh, percent solar energy accounts for uh, the electrical power here in Germany. Uh, where do all the roofs come from to, to put up all these solar cells? Yeah, if you're looking on the cities such as Berlin, we see uh, you have to, to look for uh, solar systems. You do not see so many solar systems. In southern Germany, it's a li little bit different. But we have place for uh, to double or to, to uh, e even to, to tenfold the uh, installation of solar systems. So mm -hmm. it's no problem to install them here. The goal is to actually change our energy production by 2050 completely to renewables. Are you optimistic that we can reach that goal? Yeah, we have to reach it because we have the change of climate and uh, if we want to avoid different damages, we have to do or we have to achieve the goal 20, uh, 2050. If we do not that, we have a big problem. So we have to do it and I think we can do it. You say we can do it, we have to do it, but what's happening at the moment is that we import nuclear power from abroad and that we also uh, are about to build new uh, coal-fired power plants here in Germany. But we also have a high increase in solar installation. So 10 years ago, solar technology uh, no, no really important for Germany. Today we have 3% and we expect 30% in 20 to 30 years. It's possible and the old technology, they will not survive. <laughs> we'll see. <Okay. laughs> Thanks up to here, Professor Kwasnick. Joining us in the studio is Professor Volker Kwaschning, an expert on renewable energies. Now, that seems like a nice solution with Carbasol, but after all, hydrogen is not that explosive. Do we really need a solution like that? Yeah, the answer is very difficult because we have no good solution for the transportation sector at the moment. So for electricity production, we know the main uh, technology is solar and wind energy. But in the transportation today, we are developing uh, battery systems. The problem that the range of a battery car is limited. So we need other technologies for long distances. And there could be the hydrogen solution. Mm. But today, hydrogen is very expensive and we have to produce the hydrogen from uh, carbon dioxide free fuel, uh, electricity or sun or wind energy. Mm -hmm. As you said, um, there are quite a few different solutions. There is also lots of different developments. They're also uh, putting much energy into developing better batteries. Um, so are we not wasting resources on these too many different technologies? Yeah, today we do not know what would be the solution. If you know the solution, we only have to do the de development in one solution. But uh, today the race is open and we have to look on the battery systems, the possibility or the advantages of battery systems are very good, but uh, they have the problems and if you can not solve the problems, the hydrogen has the potential and perhaps both technologies will be uh, important for the future. So we don't really know what the future of energy supply will look like, do we? We do not know, but we have solutions today and we, we can solve the problems. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for the talk, Professor Kwasnik. You're welcome.